Hello, I'm going to show you in Minecraft Education Edition how to make giant logos in your world. Now, these have some holes in it, but I'll show you how to fix those. Um, you could, if you just needed to run like 15 commands or something like that, you could use the um, stacking of commands on an NPC that my good buddy Steve Isaacs made here, and I'll link to this. So if you just have like 16 or 32 lines, um, and I say that because each one of these holds 16 lines before it won't run it. Um, his video is great, um, but I have 600 to 700 lines of uh, fill commands to make those logos. So this method won't work. Um, so I found this tutorial, um, which does most of what I want. And I'm going to show you uh, basically borrowing from this. And I'll link to this because you're going to want some of this stuff. Uh, but then how I um, did my personal tricks to get it to work. So let's get going. Um, once on here, you do need just a behavior pack to download that we will then later on be importing here. Um, so we need to make that. And to start out with that first, we download the vanilla behavior pack, which I did here. Now, we need to extract it and put it into a very specific folder. So I'm just going to call this garlic behavior pack yeah there we go let's extract that and then as soon as that's done um, we need to get to a very specific folder so let's just open up a new file explorer here um, and then inside the address here you just want percent app data percent um, which will take you to these sneaky little files here where it stores everything um, and then you you could dig down and eventually find it but <laughs> what I found was actually easiest um, according to the tutorial um, which went to the wrong page um, we're looking for this com dot mojang mojang I don't know how it's put in um, so oops go forward Inside of this percent app data, I just look for the com dot mojang, and it'll find it. That way, you don't have to dig down twenty five folders to find it. So, I go inside of that. I'm gonna dock this here, and there's my downloads. So here's my behavior pack. Copy that. Go into behavior packs. Here's my previous attempts at this, um, and I'm gonna throw that in there. Now with that in there, if we look back at the blog post here, we extracted it and now we have to mess with this, uh, it's called a manifest file. And what this does is when you import it into Minecraft, it's gonna look for a unique ID to make sure you're not trying to import the same thing twice. And so we're gonna have to generate some of those, which is super easy. Uh, so here's my behavior pack. Inside of it is the manifest. And that opens up this complicated looking thing, which we do not want the dependencies here. So dependencies, square bracket, curly, curly, square bracket. We want this to be gone. And I just don't like spaces. I don't need the comma. So your last three characters will be curly, square, curly. Um, but we also want to change these things. So I'm going to name this, call it garlic behavior one and it's new whatever you want to put it it doesn't really matter um module same thing garlic module doesn't matter so from the blog post here he links to the uuid uh, generator but you just say generate copy go in here paste go back to the generator generate another copy and by the way if you make changes to your behavior pack you have to regenerate these so you can import the new version of it um, and I already know from past that I want this to be 11470 for education edition at least as I recorded this um, change it here too. 
Okay, so we have a new name, unique IDs, good, good, save that, done with that for now. And then also back, just browsing through the tutorial, um, we're going to make a new functions folder and a file in it that ends with MC function. So in here, new folder functions inside of that new text document i'm going to say call this garlic logo now this has to be a mc function file not a txt and so you want to in your on windows anyways you go to view file name extensions so that you can actually take off the txt and make it an mc function it says are you sure yeah i'm sure now it will run it um, and inside of it is where we put all of our fill commands so where do we get those well we just so happen to have this handy dandy website um, which i will also link to um, but you give it an image and it converts it to minecraft blocks it's pretty sweet so go to my editor and let's choose it doesn't matter who cares uh where is oh there we are minecraft stuff i have a micro and a small um let's go micro it's like 100 by 150 pixels or something oh 100 by 113 so not that many i'm gonna not include falling and that's gonna have to be left the way it is it's gonna be 11,000 blocks and convert so now if I look close at all these these are all minecraft blocks however um, I am going to make this a little cleaner and crisper um, by not having the kind of middle color block looking things I want it all orange or all black and that's it so let's shrink this down to a one block so if I look at this and I'm looking down here at the bottom orange wool great this I want to be probably be black so we hit this replace and use the little sampler and say this replace with the black concrete as it says down there go and it replaces it throughout the entire thing not just that one little block so replace this uh, let's go ahead and replace that with black this one definitely needs to be orange so I'll replace this with this replace and I'll pause this and spare your time a little bit Okay, so I went ahead and replaced all of those. So all I have is orange wool and the black concrete. Um, you'll notice down here, I'm looking down here at the bottom, um, it says the ID is Minecraft wool one. Uh, one is the variant. So each color is like wool one is orange, wool two might be blue, wool three might be yellow, I don't know. Um, you can look on a page like this, um, that has everything says orange wool is wool one you don't want the colon though so what we want to do on this page is we want to convert to commands and you can use the command block commands which uh, I couldn't get to work um, I'm gonna be using raw commands um, and there's 451 of them so we click here go to the top hold shift and click here so I'm going to copy that and I'm actually going to put it into a new Word document um, because I need to make some modifications to it. Um, firstly, I don't need the preceding slash. And so on the home, uh, replace, uh, slash is going to be replaced with nothing. It's just going to be deleted. So I just don't put anything in there. Replace all. Okay. And I also want to get rid of the Minecraft colon. So I want to get rid of Minecraft colon and I don't replace that with anything either. So replace all on that. And then here, orange wool, it doesn't know what orange wool is. Um, and just to kind of show you why I'm doing this, if I do a, a slash, actually I'll hit the up arrow cause I've been playing around with this. Um, if I say fill from here to here and I start typing orange, that's the only thing that comes up. If I type in wool, it only comes up with that. But if I do wool space one, which is the correct variant, you hit enter, 10 blocks were filled and there they are. So I know I need to have it say wool space one 
in my Word document. So, oops, sorry, I needed that. Uh, this is going to be replacing orange underscore wool with wool space one. Replace all. Yay! And now if I look at... Hmm, maybe we'll just use black wool, which is wool 15. All right, fine. Let's replace all that. Black concrete with wool 15. Ta-da! Okay, so copy all that. Go into my garlic behavior pack, which by the way, I did this earlier and it didn't fill and I was wondering why and it took me a while to figure out that it needed to be wool space one to be orange. It didn't know what orange wool was. Um, so I'm going to show you how if you make updates, which is what I'm doing now, I'm actually redoing one. Um, let me go into my function here. Here's what I had it as before and I had no idea what that stuff was. So I'm going to control A and then control V that. Let's get rid of those spaces. Control S. Now, if I just zip this back up, which is what you would do next to um, make it a behavior pack, it would yell at me and say, hey, you're importing a duplicate, so I'm not importing it. You, If you're doing it the second time, like you go and make updates to something, you need to go into here and get new unique IDs to put inside of here. I'm going to call this one underscore one and then I need a UID there new one copy paste because that's what it looks for when you import it it's just looking at the unique ID to make sure that it's actually different so I control that control s that now back at the behavior packs <laughs> nice <laughs> uh, I completely blew it there um, we're gonna we're gonna zip it and then we're gonna change the file extension to MC pack. So here's my behavior pack, the garlic behavior pack. I'm gonna uh, put a one underscore one on that, and then I'm gonna zip it, send to zipped, and then I'm gonna change the file extension to MC pack again under the view. Is how you turn on file extensions so you can actually do this. Yes, I'm sure. So there's my new one. You can see it turned into a little icon. I can double click that. And it actually would open up Education Edition. Start the import. Yay! Now I found better luck if I save and exit and actually activate that behavior pack here. Um, here's my blocks of grass. Settings. Go down to behavior packs. My packs. There it is. One dash one is the one I want. So I want to activate that. So that moved it up here. You can tell how many times I've screwed up here. Um, so here's, and it loads from bottom to top. So the top one trumps everything. Um, but there it is. It's loaded, ready to go. And when I run the function, what you're going to type in is slash function. And then just the name of what is inside of this garlic logo. That's all you type after the function. So, well, there's my mistakes from before. That's right. Slash function garlic logo. Ta-da! Isn't it beautiful? It works so good now. The black wool actually looks pretty good too, I think. So there we go. So and if I go up here in the air and let's hit enter, up arrow, enter again, you can see I it was I was the bottom right corner of it basically so it's up in the air now. Um so there you go. Uh hopefully this helps someone. I'm probably going to end up watching this myself because I forget these things and then I'm like, "Man, how did I do that?" So that's actually why I made this video anyway. So, but I hope it helps somebody else too. So, we will see you.